Around the United States, many high school, collegiate, and professional sports teams have Native American themed nicknames, logos, and mascots. Over the past few years, there has been an ongoing debate over whether or not these names are offensive and or discriminating. Some of these logos and names include the Chicago Blackhawks, the Florida State University Seminoles, the Washington Redskins, North Dakota Fighting Sioux, Winchester Sachems, the Watertown Red Raiders, and Cleveland Indians. We decided to ask students, coaches, and teachers of our school what their thoughts are on Native American nicknames. One side of me says yes, and another side says, well, maybe we should think about this. Um, in recent events, I know that some high school teams have now changed. Uh, uh, a team that comes to mind is Natick High School. They're no longer known as the Redmen. Uh, there's a uh, college team, uh, I believe it's North Dakota, who actually went to the Supreme Court because they are fighting to change the name from the Fighting Sioux. We're here with uh, Watertown legend, Kenny Woodland. Um, we're here to ask you, Kenny, what do you think about the school mascot? Well, very controversial issue. Um, Rich Schwamm would say that the mascot needs to stay. Not, needs to stay. And um, for once, I must agree with him. I mean, it's, I mean, it's our tradition. We're not trying to offend anyone with the mascot. And, um, you know, it's just our thing. Uh, it's difficult for me to say how Native Americans feel about this uh, particular issue, but certainly nowadays you have to be politically correct and think of uh, what's the right and what's the wrong thing what to do. What do you think right? about people saying our mascot is offensive to Native Americans? Our mascot for like 50 some, some odd years, so I think we should keep it because I, I like the way the mascot looks. Recently, Sports Illustrated asked Native Americans if high school and college teams should stop using Indian nicknames. 81% of Native American respondents said no. I, I believe it all depends on how it's portrayed. Um, if you portray the Native American, you know, with like a bloody hatchet and you know, screaming and so forth, I think that can be an offensive thing. I think Native Americans, you know, shouldn't be treated just as um, those in a, in a violent scene. I also think having Native Americans as a mascot can also keep alive their history and their knowledge of the influence they had in New England and throughout the rest of the country. But it, it all depends on the taste that it's put in. That's the key. Arlington High School is a spy pond as we could be the uh, Watertown High Charles Rivers. Uh, personally, I don't care. No. Uh, I think our mascot should be Miss Fitz just because she's so beautiful. Um, I think our mascot uh, maybe without a hatchet would be a little more, you know, appropriate. I do believe that it is offensive to the Native American tribes around the world. Maybe we should change it to something. I'm going to say all of them, Grizz. What about in here? Yes. I'm going to have to go with, we should change it to three simple words, the Watertown Chris Kellys. It's a s simple mascot, nice face, you know, that, that stuff. It, it'll be good. I mean, the Native Americans in this area were farmers. You know, maybe, you know, have a farming tool instead of a hatchet. Um, you know, that, that would just show the true ethnic diversity of, of what the Native Americans were. Unfortunately, because of the Wild West, we have this view that they were, you know, carrying hatchets and bows and, and just killing, but they were actually farmers and had settlements. So I think that's a, a good thing to keep alive, the Native American issue, not to forget them. 